In this video, I'll be installing TrueNet Scale in VMware Workstation. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video, and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And the reason for this video is that I plan to make more advanced videos about Windows Automation, but for that I need a new hypervisor and also a storage server. And for the storage server, I will be using TrueNet Scale. So in the future, I will be making few videos about my TrueNet Scale configuration. And one thing to note is that installing TrueNet Scale in VMware Workstation is not recommended. And even though I will be installing TrueNet Scale in VMware Workstation in this video, when I will be using it for Windows Automation, I will be using hardware devices. And I will be using the instance that I will be installing in the VMware Workstation only to test and demonstrate configurations. Anyways, in this video I will be creating a virtual machine and then installing TrueNet Scale inside of that virtual machine. And first I need to download TrueNet Scale ISO image and for that I will use the link that I have here. That brings me to the TrueNet download page. In here I will click no thank you, I already signed up. And then I will download the stable version. And then we can close this window right here and go to VMware Workstation. Now to create a virtual machine, I will right click in here and click on new virtual machine. Here I will select typical, then click next. Then I will select, I will install operating system later, next. And here I will select Linux. And then for the version, I will select the latest Linux, Linux version. Then I will click next once again. Here, for the virtual machine name, I will enter scale 04. Then I will click next. For the disk size, I will enter 128. That should be enough. And I will also select store virtual disk in a single file. Click next and then click finish. Then I will select the virtual machine in here and click on edit virtual machine settings. And in here I will click on memory and give it 8 gigabytes. This should be enough for testing. Then I will go to processors and change number of processors from 2 to 1. And then change the cores per processors to 2. This also should be enough. Then for CD DVD drive I will select use ISO image file, click on browse, go to my downloads folder and select the ISO that I downloaded. I will double click on it. Then for the network adapter, I will change from NAT to bridge network. And this is a very important setting because this will make the virtual machine appear on my network as a normal device. It will receive IP address from my DHCP server and also will be accessible from all of my devices on the network. And then I will also select sound card and I will remove it because I don't need it on the NAS server. And now I will be adding multiple hard drives and the number of hard drives depends on what configurations you want to test in TrueNet Scale. In this case, I will be adding six hard drives and two SSD drives. And to do that, I will click on add, then select hard disk, click next. Here for the hard drives, I will leave it as SCSI, then click next. Then I will select create a new virtual disk, next and 8 gigabytes should be enough. I will select allocate a disk space now and store virtual disk in a single file. Click next and finish. And now I will do it five more times. And now that I have six hard drives, I will be adding two SSD drives. Once again, I will click on add, select hard disk, click next. In here I will select NVMe and then next. Once again, create new virtual disk. Allocate disk space now and store it into a single file. Next and finish. And I will create one more. And that's basically it. Now I have six hard drives and also two SSD drives. And that's it for this virtual machine configuration. So I will click on OK. And now we can start the virtual machine and start the installation. So I will click on power on this virtual machine. And here I will click on start through NAS scale installation. In here I will select install upgrade. Now we need to select the disk where we want to install the virtual machine on. 
I will be installing on the 128 gigabytes drive. So I'll click on space. As you can see here, we can see the star and then I will click OK. Here I will select yes. And once again, I will click OK. In here, I need to enter a password for the administrator account. So I will enter it and repeat it. Once again, I will click OK and then yes, and the installation is now started. And as you can see, the installation is over. Now I will click OK. And also we need to restart the virtual machine. So I will select a reboot system and once again, click on OK. And the virtual machine finished booting up and here in the console, we can see our IP address. So I will enter it in my browser. It's 192, 168, 1, and then 113. If I press enter here, can we can see through NAS website. I will enter the username through NAS admin, and then I will enter the password that I entered in the console. And we successfully signed in into our new instance of TrueNAS. And that's it for this video. In the next video, I will cover network configuration. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.